everyone. I'm Miss Bethany from the Shelby Township Library. I'm Miss Jennifer. Happy to be crafting with you today. Today we're going to show you how to make a balloon party popper. We are making kits every week on Mondays that you can pick up while supplies last that will have the supplies that you'll need for our weekly craft alongs on Wednesdays throughout summer reading. Um, but you can probably make most of these crafts with things you may have at home. So to make the balloon party popper, you can find the instructions and the supplies list online um, and on our Facebook page. So check out the library website. Um, but we have a paper drinking cup. You need to use a cup that's larger than a Dixie cup. Ours are a little small, but if you have a, a larger regular size cup at home, you can use that too, a paper cup. Um, it'll need a balloon. And if you have some pom-poms, marshmallows, small little objects, these are the things that you'll be able to shoot out of your party popper. And whatever kinds of odds and ends that you have at home to decorate your cup. Uh, we have some markers, some stickers, some ribbon, and some glue and tape to decorate your cup and your balloon however you would like. And you'll need a, some scissors and probably a grown-up to help you do some cutting. So first we're going to take our cups. Okay. And we're going to get help from our grown-up if you're a smaller kid and need some help cutting out the circle at the bottom of your cup. Okay. So How are you cutting it? Um, I'm just going to poke a little hole. That way I can... Don't stab, children. <laughs> ...get in there and sort of snip around in the circle. Do we need it doesn't have here? to be too neat. You can have a little left around the edges. It's hard to cut a perfect circle, but the main thing is you want to make a little circle opening at the bottom so that your balloon, when it stretches, will shoot back through the bottom of the cup and shoot out your little marshmallows and poppers. I'm trying to get that perfect circle. Yeah, you can practice your cutting skills and be is really neat with your circle or as long as you have an opening at the bottom roughly done, that'll, that'll work. Okay. Okay, so then once we have our circle cut out of the bottom of our cup, mm -hmm. um, so do we, need we can decorate our cup. So okay. you will be covering the bottom, the top portion, I guess, because you'll have the, if you have the cup flipped upside down, we're going to be stretching the balloon over that part. So it doesn't matter if you decorate that top part too much, but if you have some markers and you want to color on the cup, um, if you want to glue some papers or ribbons, or we have some stickers you can stick on there. So what kind of circuits do we got? We have some little bows, some little hearts, some letters. We I'm can gonna make a little dude. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to find the letters for my lady. name. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> a that's a good chance to practice spelling your name, kids too. Yeah. Oh, these look so like eyes. I'm gonna do some coloring on my cup. Are you going to color, we don't do anything towards the, bot the, t the bottom of the cup, right? Yeah, I mean, if you want to decorate the whole thing, it might get covered up a little bit, but it is a chance to do some art. But I'm going to decorate more towards the rim of the cup because that's the part that will still be showing. Mm -hmm. Let's save that for the class. It's a fun chance to use all of our different fun colored markers. Or crayons, if you have crayons at crayons. home. Crayons. Yeah. You could use paint if you want to paint. It's very adventurous. <laughs> if you want to be really adventurous and sparkly, you could use glitter glue or glitter. I have lots of stickers at home, so I would probably use stickers. I'm just going to make a wavy pattern since we're in summertime and I'm thinking about the beach a lot. That sounds nice. And the water. Are you going to make a little weird alien? A silly face. Not the one that I made already. I did practice one to see if it would work. Mine looks like a little alien face. It looks like a Yoda without the ears. <laughs> I like it. It does. The little ears can be a friend for my alien cup. Oh, perfect. You did some stickers, and maybe I'll put a bow on mine. Yeah, I'm going to save the bow until after the, the balloon is on. Yeah, you could do hair. some decorating on the balloon, too, after we put the balloon on. So yeah. Just, I'll leave the pink one for you. 
Yeah, and we got out some ribbon. If I used ribbon on the one that I made already, so I wrapped some around and I glued and taped for extra security on there so the ribbon wouldn't fall off. I be fun taped the too. ribbon on. You can make hair for your little, if you make a little person. You yeah, can you could make some hair. You mm -hmm. will be stretching the balloon, so as long as you don't have anything that's going to fall off when you pull the balloon, you can decorate the balloon once it's attached to the cup, too. So I just did a few decorations. And you can add more later if you want. But next we're going to take our balloon. Okay. And we need to tie a knot like we're tying a normal balloon at the end. So again, you might need your grown-up to help you do this. Okay, and then we're going to snip off the top little half of the balloon. You don't have to do a giant half, just sort of the little small top portion. But like half an inch? Yeah, about half an inch down. Okay. Snip. So that you'll have the top half of your balloon is gone, and that when you pull it apart, if I can get mine pulled apart. It looks like it's a little swimming cap. Yeah, it's like putting a little swimming cap on your cup. <laughs> so we're going to stretch it over the hole that we cut in our cup. Okay. And stretch it down nice and far so that it's tight on there. You could use some tape if you wanted to extra secure it on there. I want a little extra. Sometimes the balloon, you're stretching it a lot, it helps to... When you're gonna use your popper, hold the cup and hold onto the balloon too so that you wait, don't wait, wait. pull the balloon off. You're going too fast. Yeah, I'm not testing it, I'm just pulling it on. You can continue taping. Okay. <laughs> then I'm gonna put a little bow. Yeah, now we can decorate a little bit more on the balloon too. So if you wanted to draw a face on there or put some stickers there on the balloon. Oh, that's silly. Tie some more ribbon on there. Mine's going to have two hearts for Aww. eyes. He needs a nose. He looks like a little robot. Oh, yeah. We have some little dots. I can use one for a nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he does look like a robot, though. My little robo cup. cup. Robo cup. Robo cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so make sure you have your cup decorated however you want. Decorate your balloon. And that's pretty much it. So now is the fun part where we get to test it out. So we have some pom-poms, but again, you could use mini marshmallows. You could use whatever little objects you have, and remember, soft ones if you're playing inside. Yeah, and remember, don't shoot it directly at somebody's face. That's not a good idea. Don't shoot it at the cat or the dog. That's not a good idea. Somewhere where it's, it's, nobody's going to get hurt. Yeah, we're trying to have fun without hurting anybody, so not in someone's face. Right. How far back do you need to pull it? Um, you can pull it just a little bit. You don't have to stretch the balloon really far so that it's going to snap, but I found that just by yep, holding the balloon on your cup okay. and giving it a little tug, oh! it'll shoot your pom-poms, and that's, oh, that's what fun. makes it a party popper or a balloon oh, be marshmallow of, shooter. Be of confetti. <laughs> you could put confetti in there and shower somebody on their birthday or for a party. Um, if you're doing outside play, you could put a little water in there and you can shoot water and have your own little squirt gun party popper cup. Oh, put some flower seeds in there and do a like, um, like gardening, like. Yeah, just gardening. shoot some seeds off into your garden. That's fine. The worst part is having to clean up when you're done. Yep, this we just have a few party popper pom-poms that we'll have to find and reload. Mm -hmm. But that's a way that you can make your own fun little simple summer toy balloon party popper. That was so much fun. I I'm like glad that. ours worked. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, that was fun. Well, we might keep playing with our balloon party poppers, and we hope that you have fun playing with yours too. Make sure to join us next Wednesday for another craft. and. Be sure to stop into the library um, starting on Mondays to pick up your craft kit and a supply list for getting your own supplies at home if um, supplies are limited. So once we run out, you can look for the objects at home and join us for another video next time to make another craft. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.